Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Long time no see, I bloody know it has been a while. So much stuff has been happening, so much has been flying about, um, which is no excuse, I know I always say this. However, life needed to be readjusted a little bit um, due to different types of circumstances, which I can talk about in a different video. But today we are back with a Molly Elizabeth little special. It's coming up to New Year's Eve. Currently, I've got no plans at all. I just thought it was only, only fair of me to share with you some of my New Year's eve little looks in a classic styling haul with little photos of the outfits in the mirror. So if you want to find out more and give maybe yourself a little bit of inspiration for New Year's Eve, then carry on watching. Also, I know it's a little bit of a different background, but I'm just rolling with it, you know? I'm just, I'm just trying something out. Okay, so this is obviously a little try on as well for you. Um, so this is the first outfit. I was just wearing it in the little introduction. Um, so I'll just step back for you. So I have paired together some gold heels with a little gold shimmery bodysuit and some white wide leg like satiny trousers along with loads of gold jewellery. Classic for me, I know. And some gold hoops. Now sparkles and all of that are very in for new year's eve and are actually going to be apparently in a huge lot during 2022 so why not start off 2022 with an absolute bang and being on trend with what you are wearing i'll go through now where everything is from so my gold little shoes are from primark these trousers i believe were they bershka no, monkey. These was an absolute steal that I got in London. The only issue is that they can sometimes be very see-through. So be tactical with your underwear, ladies. But no, they are a perfect length and everything. And I really struggle with that with only being five foot four. This little bodysuit I got from... I saw it first. And I just think with white and all gold, it just looks really classy. And this can be for a more dressy night. It can also be quite casual if you want to pair it with a pair of jeans or even swap out the heels for some trainers. Um, pair it with a nice little bag and you're good to go literally anywhere. Drinks for New Year's Eve, food, whatever your plans are. Um, so yeah. Nice little, nice little neutral number as well. And if you're blonde, gold always suits very, very well, especially with like blue eyes, fair skin. You don't really need to tan if you don't want to, aka me. Currently, I'm completely over the tan height. I don't even know the last time when I tan, to be honest. Here's a mirror pick of this little outfit for you. Very casual, but can also be seen as if you've made a slight bit of effort. Now, it really wouldn't be a styling haul for me if I didn't have an all little black look, would it? This one is very minimalistic, up to date, on trend, casual, um, yeah, vibe, but still looks New Year's EB, looks the part. Um, so this would be a little black corset top. This is in like a satin, really nice and fitting. And I've just paired it with very on-trend wide leather pants. These are very wide and I've had to put on quite a heel with these. <laughs> I just added a pop of colour with a bit of coral um, in the bottom. It's very... Wow, it's New Year's Eve, it's so overrated, but you know, I'm still going to go out. I'm still going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to have a drink with the girls, with the guys, the boyfriend girlfriend whoever um but yeah this could be very like family orientated whack a jacket over whack a blazer over um you go for a fancy meal um but that's about it um other than that to be fair nowadays do people really fully dress up for new year or dress up in general this could be you're going to a cocktail bar to celebrate when that clock turns to midnight for 2022. I love this look, to be honest. I just think it's really chic. It looks quite expensive. You know, keeping your legs warm, pop a blazer on, you're toasty. This top is from Urban Outfitters. 
quite a while ago actually i've not really worn it and then these trousers again from i saw it first and the shoes are from clark's my old faithfuls um these trousers are so comfy if anything i'd probably say to a size down they are very big they're quite big on me on the waist um but yeah and also the length if you are a petite being a petite girl like myself or petite person you might have to get them turned up or if you go down a size that seems to work a little bit more um however they are very very long like i couldn't wear these with a pair of trainers because they are literally too long and they look ridiculous um but other than that i freaking love them <laughs> Um, and they were only cheap, they were only like, I don't even quite even remember, but I just think it's such a cute little look and very, yeah, just not quirky, but you know, this would be me on New Year's Eve, I'm not a huge like fan of it, I don't go out for it, um, but if I was, to be fair, <laughs> I've got some looks in this um, styling haul, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, and if I was like going out, out, there's some of these that I would absolutely pull out the bag. Um, but you'll see them in a minute. But other than that, here's a little mirror pic of this little chic, sexy little outfit. <laughs> okay, this is definitely, God, I look naked, um, a dress up more type of outfit. Again, in all black, but you know classic um so this is a little black dress oh i've had this for years and still not worn it and i just think it's so friggin cute um yeah so a little black dress now these are the little accessories i would pop with it but first i'll just show you it in all of its bloody glory, it's very, very short, but sometimes you've got to be a little bit risky, haven't you, ladies and gents? Um, this dress is from PLT years ago. It's probably still on the outf on the outfit, <laughs> still on the app or the website. Um, I absolutely love the detail across the bust area. I think it's so sophisticated and just makes the dress look so much more expensive. Um, but the cut, the fit, all of it is just absolutely bloody delightful. Cinches you in, gives you a nice bit of detail around the breasts. Um, but it's stunning, like absolutely stunning. I paired it with a pair of black little strappy heels and then I'm going to pair it with a combinational classic for new year like I just said sequins in a bag this is actually a makeup bag from Victoria's Secret but who's ever gonna know um and then obviously you're gonna get a bit chilly in this oversized blazer again absolute classic move from me you'll probably hardly ever see me in an actual blazer it'll always be balanced on my shoulders um, and that's exactly exactly what i'm going to do with this it just makes it a bit more dressier a bit less formal um so i'm just going to pop it with this little bag like i said from victoria's secret this blazer is from primark if you want it a little bit more oversized it'll literally just go up a few sizes and it'll give it that oversized fit um and yeah, this is actually it. This is definitely so much more dressier, very party vibes club, potentially. But the blazer just still makes it a little bit more classy and sophisticated. So I don't know, take that as you will. But I absolutely think this look is just so cute. It could also fit really nicely like for a birthday around the festive season love just like a little bit of sparkle on the back though it just gives it a bit more i'm gonna say color but that's not the correct word just a bit more flavor we'll go with flavor um but yeah i absolutely think this is so cute and i'll definitely definitely shall definitely be giving it an outing and that was my knee I don't know if you heard that on camera, but my knees just keep clicking really bad. Um, but other than that, here's this outfit in a cute little mirror pic in a festive 
little glitter. So I think this is one of my favourite looks if I was to be going out this festive season. Um, yeah, I actually love it. So it's this little white long sleeve crop with a little bit of detailing for the stomach and a cute little nude rush mini set that has a nice bit of ruching in the middle of the bum just to make it a little pop a little bit more and i just think it's absolutely just a cute little look paired with a pair of gold shoes which i had on in the first um outfit with a gold bodysuit yeah i just think this is such a vibe if it's gonna be cold weather don't worry your arms are covered um yeah i just really I really dig this look. I just think the nudes with a pop of gold, this little glitz bag, just, just such a little, such a little outfit, isn't it? I adore it, you know. If I was going to pop some champagne, I feel like it'd be in this outfit. Not why. <laughs> Not that I've got the money to pop any champagne, to be honest. Um, but details of where this is from. Obviously, the shoes are from Primark. This little bag was a little find I found in a TK Maxx. Absolutely love it. This top is from PLT, still on the website, even though I got it quite a while ago. And this skirt is a classic from Opoly. It comes with a matching top. However, I just want to do something a little bit different and just add this like long white top as well. Um, I just think it's such a cute little outfit for, I thought say Christmas Eve, that's been and gone, honey. Um, for New Year's Eve, this top proper rides up. Loads of gold glitz shimmer on the body. Probably a tan with this. Won't lie, feel a bit pale in this outfit. Um, but other than that, this is definitely a more dressier a more dressier fit, isn't it? Or I don't know, maybe an expensive meal with the partner, or an ex like a nice ambiance restaurant, dressy restaurant with your best friend, glass of wine, searching out who you're going to be kissing at 12pm when that clock strikes. However, is that still a thing with Corona? Is it? Who knows? Um, but yeah, love this little outfit. Here's a little mirror pic with me in it. Love. So I felt before the last outfit, we better scale it back a bit because the last one's very dressy and very, I don't know where I'm going in it, but it's frigging cool. So yeah, here's another little, ready to mingle. But to dance my socks off, I feel, that's the vibe I'm getting from this. These trousers and shoes and portfolio suit, every man and his dog has seen me in this. Not together, not together, not, I've never paired it together like this before. But, you know, we're being sustainable queens. We're reusing what's in the wardrobe. <laughs> Here we go, <laughs> just try shit. Wow. To be fair, everyone, I was like to see it. You probably have never seen this top on this channel before um, because, <laughs> shock, I took a break from YouTube. Um, but this is a top I got for my week of graduation activities. Wow, what fun that was. Should really fill you in. But at the same time, do I want to or leave it in the past? Okay, we'll leave it in 2021 if that's the case. Right, so this is a cute little outfit, I feel. Why I haven't worn it like this yet, I do not bloody know. I just absolutely adore this colour. I think it really cinches in you in at the waist, really gives a really nice um, silhouette because of it having this cut out bodysuit. This is from Zara. Go onto their website now or go into the store because it is currently in the sale. I'm pretty sure down something like £12. So absolute bargain. These are just a slinky shape, wide leg trousers from PLT. Absolute classic trouser 
Molly for three years at uni wouldn't be seen without these trousers and still today for a night out they're just so soft you can wind the waist boogie boogie in these all the night all the night the night away um so yeah get yourself a pair of these late these because they're bloody brilliant and great in length I've just paired it with a belt from Primark. Again, gold detailing to match the gold joy situation that we probably have going on and definitely having on right now. Um, and then my classic, <laughs> please just ignore the way I've laced these up for this video, um, but lace up <laughs> shoes are from Boohoo, the comfiest heels ever. Um, this is very much probably not going to your local pub, but going out in your local area. Um, not making much of a fuss. Maybe last minute New Year's Eve plans. I think you just throw this on. Um, yeah, that's the vibe I get from this, but still 110% up for a boogie because you've got boogie room. <laughs> so here's a video, a video? Um, here's a video of me boogieing. Here's a picture of this in the mirror. Um, and yeah, on to the final little outfit. <laughs> I'm excited for this one. I'm sorry. <sighs> Let's just take just take a minute for the dress. How stunning is this? Now no, <laughs> I would just go out my way to buy this for potential um, usage. This was supposed to be my Christmas party outfit for my work to do. However, thank you, Omicron or however you say it. But you ruined my chances of giving this an outing this year. So I'm throwing it in here. Just fucking just fucking wear it in the hole. Um, but this is absolutely stunning, right? It's a velvet pink dress from the one and only Zara, again in the sale. So go and grab it, ladies, because it is unreal. Um it has a gorgeous slit across the bottom just paired it with the gold shoes again from Primark now when I first tried this on in Zara I was very much like no I'm not gonna get it I do like it but I'm not gonna get it put a little picture on my Instagram story to my close friends saying Christmas dress shopping not going so well the amount of people that replied being like please tell me you got that dress that dress, that dress, that dress. So I got guilt tripped into getting this dress and it was the best thing that's ever happened <laughs> to me because I was then so excited to wear it for my Christmas party. But shark love, as we said, got cancelled. But this is absolutely stunning. If you've got a dinner party, if you've got like a massive family event, if you're going to some country manor for a ball, if you're going to see the Queen, if you're going somewhere very fancy basically um crack this little number out it's velvet goes with the christmas vibe pink goes with the dashes of color that's coming into next season and has been for this year um figure hugging absolute bonus the gold shoes just adds a bit more elegance um but the fit is just out of this world so like i said figure hugging figure shaping the silhouette the detail around the bust area <sighs> all the clicks all the clicks it's just unreal i absolutely adore it so this is definitely like i said so i'm just gonna step back because prince charming is apparently not around the corner maybe that's why i'm not <laughs> wearing this dress this year um but yeah go get yourself it girls because it is unreal i absolutely adore it and cannot wait 
to give it its outing. Maybe it will actually be the Christmas party next year at work. Who knows? I mean, I might not get an outing before that because this isn't something I'd wear for my birthday. Here's a um, little picture of this gorgeous dress in the mirror and the whole outfit. And that, ladies and gents, is the whole video for today. I really hope you enjoyed it. I hope you loved my little reunion. I'm back. She's back in a gorgeous little number. <laughs> but if you did enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Share it amongst your friends if you think they'd enjoy it. And yeah, I'll see you very soon for another video. Goodbye.